Hi everybody. Um, I did start this video a minute ago and then obviously I'd done a blooper. So I had to start all over again. So anyway, this is the basics on how to do um, play smart, either in a circle or rectangle. Obviously I haven't finished them because I've had so much to do today. It's my only day off this week. Um, so please forgive me. Um, but I will show you the basics and once you've learnt the basic, you just keep going around and around and around or lengthways. Um, so yeah, you can either do your coasters, placemats, or if you're feeling big and brave and you've got loads of fabric that you want to just use up and keep the boredom out the way. Um, you could actually make a rug, which I've made and it actually works really quickly. So, right, what you need is fabric, lots of fabric, cut into strips. I've got a lovely lady who does quil quilting, so she gives me lots of fabric to use up, which I love her for, because I use it in all my different crafts. Um, so anyway, yeah, so you have a decent sized length to work with. You can go longer if you want, um, but my best advice is, is your first two ones to start off about this length and then you can go longer. Um, so what we'll do is I'll just show you here because I've actually put two together already, is in each end you want to create um, a little hole. This is where you're going to need children's supervision or you do it for the children because this is, this is once you get the basics of it it's great craft for kids to learn and they can actually use um, their own make their own um, placemat or dinner mat if you've got a table for them to sit and they can like use old clothes as long as you've got strips where it's perfectly um some nice ones which i'm gonna make um i've got loads of old pairs of jeans that obviously um shrunk in the wash that i'm going to actually make placemats with honestly they did shrink in the wash <laughs> that's what i'm gonna tell myself anyway so right there you go you've got your first hole there get your other um piece with the other hole so push that strip through that hole and then get the end of this one and you push it through that hole pull it all the way through until you create a knot and that's what you have to start with so this is what I'm going to do oh I'll show you this as well. Um, you can either use an upholstery needle or you make your own, which is really, really simple. I'll quickly show you. So just open up. I've got good old um, paper clip. Um, just open it up. I really need to have some pliers up here. I think it would be best for all my crafting. So then what you do is you bend that one side over so you've got one loop and then get the other side and bend your other loop so you've got that there. Then get some fabulous tape, either masking parcel tape. Please don't use double sided tape because that's what I nearly did. Um, be quite sticky. So, and then you're just going to wrap around there so any sharp ends are kept out the way. And go up because you don't want too much of a big loop there. Make it nice and tight. And there we go. There is your needle. See, a bit of magic and saves your pennies as well. Right, so what we're going to do. So this is going to be 
my base piece there and then this is going to be my working fabric okay so i'm actually going to i'm going to cheat and i actually recommend this because it does help um we're going to do the round one um clothes peg perfect for this so just get that my bulldog clip and i am going to get what should we get we need something oh we use that book will do anything like that so let's just put that into frame right and then all i'm going to do is i'm just going to clip my knot there makes life so much easier like so there we go um we we'll take it off in a minute once we've done our five knots so I'm going to, which colour am I going to use as my base? That's going to be my base. So, because I really like this fabric. It's pretty, the baby blue. So just thread it through one end like so. And then what we're going to do, you've got your nice long bit there. And then you're going to create a moon or a hill. I will say it's a hill. So you create the hill, you go under this one and up through that one and pull. Don't pull too tightly because you don't want your knots to be tight to not work into. So there we go. There's your first knot. Do the same again. If I don't get myself in a kerfuffle, another hill. Go under, up through, and there's your second knot. See, easy peasy. Same again, create the heel, under, uh, and up through. There's your third knot. Just a bit tighter. Try and keep all your loops consistent. Um, does make it easier to work with. So under again, up through. I can't remember where, how many knots I did then, but we <laughs> the aim is five. So we've got one, two, three, four, one more. Look at that. Five. So remember your heel. Under and up through. There, look at that. See, I think that's pretty already. Right, so this is where it's magic begins. So if you wanted to do the rectangle, you'd carry on. And I would recommend 20 knots to go along there. Um, but I will show that in another video. But this, we're going to do our circle. So... Unclip it from there because you can actually work this in your hands now. I just need to take a little drink a minute. Excuse me. Right. Okay, so what we're going to do next. We are going to go. Claire needs to remember. So you're going to create the circle. So that's your first knot. There's your last knot. You're going to bring them around together like that. And then what you're going to do is your base material is going to go up there. So you'll bring in both ends together. Okay. And then what we're going to do is there's your first knot that you've done. Your very first. Oh. So sorry about that. I think my my phone's having a funny five minutes. So, as we was. So, you bring in your first knot and your last knot together. Your base fabric goes up around there. And then what you're going to do is your working fabric. You're going to go through your first knot, which is there. You're going to go under your base fabric. Pull through. 
and before you pull it tight you've created that loop you're going to bring your needle up through there and there's your first knot there's your second knot out of your five so you're going to do the same again you're going to go through under your base material fabric come up and there's your loop go through it and so there you go created another knot please don't pull it too tight okay because otherwise it'll start going like a ball so obviously we're getting a bit short here so what we do remember you cut your hole in there I am going to get some more fabric. Oh, I think it might change. Let's have a bit of this. That's pretty, isn't it? So, do the same again. Snip your hole. That. And at that end. Like so. We're going to go through that hole there. Remember, don't pull too much through. And then pull your other pit over and through the hole. And bring it on up. And there you go. You're not. And just thread the fabric through. And we'll carry on. So remember, this is your base fabric and there's your third knot the hole there so what you're going to do is go through remember going underneath that one as well bring it through remember don't pull all the way through there's your loop come up through there and pull through there you go Fourth holes there, not there, there, right there. So remember, through underneath the other base fabric before you pull completely up through there, pull through. There we go, and then there's your last one there through get in there before you pull the loop through up through there and there we go so now because obviously that's quite a big hole isn't it the center what you do is you gently pull this not too much and that will pull that all together Right, so now it's just working in a circle. So find your next knot, which is the number through there, under your base fabric, up through, through your loop, through your loop, and there. because it's got a bit of this, that joins there might need a bit of there we go persuasion right and we'll do it again through the next knot and that's all it is is following your knots around um, before you pull too tight up through there and so on and if there's like a big gap like this before your next knot or you've got a distance to your next knot what you can actually do is put two knots into the same one and it sort of bridges that gap so gonna go to the next one remember under that one and then through there so it's a bit like um, the blanket stitch there we go there's your next one see what i mean it's easy once you get the hang of it 
and getting the finding the holes for the knots honestly this will go really fast i've done a rug um size of a bath a, you know good size bath mat and it took me two days to complete it and that was worth working as well so they do work really really fast once you've got into a rhythm they go really fast so, because uh, there's the next knot there, and I'm all the way over here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back through the same one again. There we go. Brings me closer to that one. And what I'm going to do before I carry on is because there's this one there's only that much left I'm actually going to add another piece of fabric to my base fabric and I've actually got the same colour as that where is it yes. so just remember snip in the end you ain't got to go all the way just a little snip but I think these this is a fantastic thing for kids to do. They could even make a rug out of their own baby quilt set and yeah, and make a nice little rug for in their bedroom. So remember Claire, don't pull too much through. See, I have to tell myself as well sometimes. There we go, up through there, and then hot. So I've got my base fabric to carry on. So we'll go around a couple more times, because I don't want to bore you too much. So remember, through the knot, under that, your base fabric, before you pull too much through, up through there, and voila. But it's always best to have two different colours. Um, I have tried doing it with the same colour and it drove me out to potty. So there you go, there's my next knot. But if you're anything like me, I've always got loads of material, lo loads and loads of clothes that I really need to go through, like those jeans that have all shrunk, and maybe make a nice rug, or even um, dog or cat bed. That'd be nice for the pets to sleep on. So the kids, if they got hamsters, they could actually do one for the hamsters. Not sure if I think it's sort of ideal because I know hamsters might use it as toilet base. <laughs> but there. So it does, it comes out really nice like that. Gets bigger and bigger as you go. It's a messy side, ignore the messy side. But it does, it looks really nice and using different colours as well. Or you can, you, know, you can just use two different colours or multiple different colours. Um, I'm sure there's like shirts, you know, that you don't want the hubby to wear anymore. And he won't let you get rid of them. If you secretly <laughs> use it into making a mat. <laughs> I'm sure he wouldn't know. But yeah, so, and there you go. So I hope you enjoyed doing that. Or I hope you enjoy taking part. Just need a little sip a minute. Yeah, so I hope you'd like to take part. Have a go. Please post your photos of what you've made. That would be absolutely brilliant. Um, and remember... 
share also it gives other people an opportunity to have a go at these crafts and if you've got any ideas on what to do or what you'd like me to do i'm more than happy to have a go and put a video up of it um my next one is i'm actually gonna get a picture frame and turn it into a weaving loom which would be brilliant for the kids because you'd be able to make use fabrics in that or wool um i have made one let me see if i can get it in a minute So these are absolutely fantastic to make. Um, let me just pull my chair in. Look at this. I don't know if you can see it. So it goes up a bit like that and like that. And then you've got frilly bits there. If I move the camera a minute, it might help. But yeah, so this is all weaving and fun to make using different types of fabric. I've actually got fabric in there, different types of wool and yarn. And they're good to make and even kids can make these. These are really easy to make. Um, so that's going to be my next project. Um, showing you using a picture frame, which I use to make this um, and using fabrics. Um, and to create whatever you want and it doesn't matter what pattern you follow just add it to it and it makes a beautiful piece that you can have it is over a wall hanging um, if you can get out and go down to the beach um, get a bit of driftwood to hang it up with be absolutely perfect so yeah so that's my next idea and then I'm going to be trying to think of some other stuff that um, children can do um, got to make it fun for everybody but please if you've got any ideas be greatly appreciated if you can share it with us so I'm going to go and sit down and chill for a bit before bedtime I hope you all have a lovely evening um, keep safe and speak to you soon Bye.